Schools can get tremendous use out of Google Forms for creating custom systems, like this one, that allows for student incidents and home outreach to be logged in a way that auto-emails student advisors and allows for the school team to pr improve transparency and follow-through after a student has been absent. With a valid and unique array of student names in the form drop-down, matching those in a reference sheet in the same workbook, a VLOOKUP formula can be used to pull in important contacts and other information about a student, such as the email of their academic advisor or their parent's phone number. Here, the formula script enables formulas to be automatically copied down to calculate these values on the new form submission row prior to sending templated emails to various parties, creating a tremendously powerful and flexible set of system building options. Despite this power, when working with the old Google Forms product, Creating and maintaining the list items to ensure a valid student name proved to be a minor nightmare that involves copying and pasting and copying and pasting and copying and pasting and copying and pasting, which, if you're watching it in Prezi, can make you feel seasick, but if you're responsible for creating and updating all the forms for a mid-sized high school, is as unsustainable as it is painful. And yet it's so critically important that some of our more enterprising schools even went so far as to develop keystroke macros to update all their forms, while others found a way to use concatenate and hyperlink formulas to pre-populate the student name from the URL. Fortunately, Google's new forms product now allows for an array of options to be copied and pasted from a spreadsheet to the form editor with a single control C Control-V, a major usability improvement. But in many schools, student enrollment can change from day to day, so keeping form options up to date still presents a, a sustainability challenge. Things would sure be much easier if drop-down options could be populated dynamically from a range like they do for cell validation within a spreadsheet. We've got plenty of other use cases that present the exact same challenge all of which involve selecting from options that are likely to change over time. In other words, the problem of practice we seek to solve is how can we create multiple choice, drop down, or checkbox form elements whose options are populated from a range of values within a form attached Google spreadsheet. The solution comes thanks to a recently added service in the Google Apps Script product which allows us to programmatically build and modify most aspects of a Google Form. The Form Ranger script was written using this newly released form service to allow users to automatically populate the options in any multiple choice, checkbox, or list box style question in a Google Form from any column in the attached spreadsheet. Install it on the spreadsheet that's attached to your Google Form from the Apps Script Gallery, which can be found in the Tools menu. Once installed and authorized, you will see a custom menu option to the right of the Help menu. From the Form Ranger menu, select Assign, Assign Form Items to Columns, and you'll see a listing of each question in your form. For questions that are multiple choice, checkbox, or list item type, you'll have the option to assign any sheet and column in the spreadsheet to populate the form options. Very exciting. Return to the Form Ranger menu, and you will see an option to refresh the form which simply rebuilds all form options in the sheet, and another option to set triggers for form refresh. This option lets you specify when and how often you want the form to get rebuilt. If you select none of these options, the form will simply stay as is, even when the spreadsheet values change. This script gives you a great deal more control over how your form behaves in relation to dynamic spreadsheet values, which opens up some cool new systems options. You might create forms for daily programs that have constantly changing enrollments based on teacher rec recommendations, such as tutoring or homework help, or forms where the items are actually informed by the selection of others, such as a book review system where available titles change based on what others are reading, or an enrollment process where options are removed from the form when they are full. If you come up with something that might be useful to others, consider packaging it and posting about it on UPD so others can benefit from it. My name is Andrew Stillman and I'm, edu I'm an educator. I wrote the formula script as part of my work with New Visions for Public Schools. Cheers.